Hi everyone, I'm Lorraine from Simply English Edinburgh. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to look at some essential baby products in English and I know this is a very uh, target vocabulary video, it's not going to be of interest to all of you but as some of you know I had a baby girl in July last year, so almost six months ago and some of my friends have had babies as well and some of my former students and um, people from other countries living in the UK and some of them actually said to me like wow I need to learn a whole new set of vocabulary um, in order to kind of buy what I need and to sort of know what I am looking for when I go to the shops and one of my students suggested that I make a video like this and I thought no it's not for everyone but well here it is if you like it please leave a like or a comment and yeah let's get started. Okay so let's start off with some clothing items and the first one here you can see the little feet are included and this is a baby grow or a sleep suit. This was um, a little cute Christmas one with Holly, so sweet. Uh, so yeah, a baby grow or a sleep suit. And typically, although, you know, sometimes you do see that they have zips, typically it is this kind of fastening, like, you know, you can hear the pop. They are called poppers that you'd use to close these kind of suits. Uh, that can be quite complicated at night when you're changing a baby, all those different poppers, but yeah, uh, baby grow or sleep suit. Uh, next, not an essential item by any means, but super, super cute. Again, these are little Christmas ones here. And um, so these guys here are called booties. Uh, because they're like little boots aren't they and they of course typically have this kind of elasticated um, top on them to keep them on they don't keep them on and um, babies will always kick them off um, but yeah booties super cute and I guess the next item it really depends on where in the world you're living as to whether this is an essential baby item or not but in Scotland and typically in the northern countries like this type of item with a hood, very padded, with the integrated hands that close like that. This is called a pram suit because generally speaking your baby will wear this when out and about in the pram to keep them warm. This one is very cute, very very cute pram suit. And the last, I guess, items of kind of clothing-ish, more used for feeding though, which leads us on to the next category, um, are these here. So these will go around the, the neck of the baby when feeding. Um, and again, they have these like poppers usually on them for closing. And um, they are called bibs. Um, every mum, dad, with a baby needs bibs it is essential or your baby will just spill everything everywhere so yeah absolutely an essential clothing item okay so next up we're going to look at some stuff which you will need for feeding your baby so um obviously quite an obvious one here is a baby bottle or just a bottle and if we look so you've got uh, the cap here so the cap is the top of the bottle which protects it from you know being contaminated because of course everything your baby has in the beginning needs to be sterilized uh, this is the teat of the bottle from which your baby will drink and um, so long e in the pronunciation there just be careful with that teat and of course then this is the main part of the bottle with all of um, the measurements on the side of it so that's your bottle and then as your baby gets a little bit bigger they'll probably move on to this little guy here with the handles either side so this is called a sippy cup again it has the measurements uh, that's not very clear on the screen just here it's got measurements um, and it's got the uh, little top on it here for drinking through as well so this is a sippy cup which they move on to from about six months old which is why I have it and like the bibs another really good uh, thing to have on hand when you're feeding your baby is this here which just looks like a rag this is called a muslin and it's fantastic for cleaning up any spills 
dribbles, messes. You're gonna have all of those things. So yeah, they are some of the essential feeding products. Okay, so moving on, we're going to look at some of the products now for changing and this little guy here is so useful. Uh, it just opens up like that. And I've got, I think, three of these, like, in various parts of the house. Uh, these are changing mats, so if you need to change your baby's nappy, this is something which you need to put down on a surface so that, again, you don't have any messes that need to be cleaned up. Essential item. And, of course, goes without saying, nappies absolutely essential. In the UK and in Ireland we say nappy, however in the United States diaper is the more common word so you know if you watch a lot of movies, films maybe you've heard diaper but in the UK nappy is the word which is used and again baby wipes. Every mom all over the world will know this is an absolutely essential product to have. So yeah nappies, changing wipes, and the changing mat for nappies, baby wipes, and the changing mat, essential. Okay, and finally some kind of miscellaneous products, but that I have found really, really beneficial. Uh, so first of all, we've got these guys here. Now, there is a lot of variety in the name for this product. And um, you will see it actually, I don't know if you can read that, but it says on the box, you can see, yeah, just up at the top here, it says soothers. Um, now this is coming from the verb to soothe, meaning like to kind of calm down, which is really nice. And um, a soother. In the United States, you will hear the word pacifier being used. Again, this is coming from the root word to pacify, meaning to make someone or something peaceful. However, in like informal English, the most common word used to describe these products are dummies. Um, so that is the word that I would use. I would call these guys dummies. But again, as I said, lots of variety in what word um, is used. So I guess it will depend on kind of where you are based. But yeah, here for me in Edinburgh and among my kind of group um, and even growing up, dummy is the word that we would have used for this. And lastly, and actually quite important, uh, at the moment, as I said, my daughter is almost six months old. So these kind of little guys here, these are called teethers, or you'll also hear teething ring. I guess it depends on the design. Um, so this is basically a little product that can go into the fridge to cool it down. You can see there's water in here, so it's nice and cool. And she will kind of put this in her mouth and chew on it a little bit when she is teething. Um, now the verb to teethe, means when a baby is getting their teeth and teething is the noun um, and this guy here is a teether or a teething ring. So a little bit of a different vocabulary video but I hope you found it interesting. If you did please leave a like or a comment and that way I will know that you would be interested in seeing part two where I show you some of the bigger items because of course uh, these were little bits and pieces that are essential for you know feeding, changing and things like that but there are many big products of course which are also needed when you have a baby so if you would like to see that video leave a like or a comment so I know that this is some content that you are interested in seeing and as always thank you so much for your support please like subscribe share with your friends particularly those who are new moms or having babies or thinking about having babies and I will see you in the next video thank you bye